Watch what's approaching, the supreme moment. Reality striking, closer than it seems, don't it? Go ahead, it's for the taking if you want it. If not, the dream dies and you'll be forever haunted. Then confront it. What's well, good? Finally, some good news. I was waiting on this for a long time, and finally, they got the news out. So we'll start off with the easy aid for the units that were suggested, or um, you know, the Twitter campaign or whatever for the talk about the celebration thing, and then we have the uh, Piccolo unit as well as the first form cells. So we'll start with the easy aids, and I'll provide the translations on the spot. I haven't taken a look at this. This is honestly the first time I'm seeing this. So. <clears throat> It is announced that seven units will get an easy A, and based on what I'm seeing, they might just roll this out all at once, which is a, a fantastic thing. I thought they might do it in phases, but it looks like they are going to do it. Um, you know, timing-wise, I'm not 100%, but they did release all the information, so it is probably going to be all at once, my guess. But, you know, don't, don't take my word for it, but uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so we'll start one by one. And as far as we know right now, you have the updated Easy A skill sets for the leader skill, passive skill, and the super attack ability. So I'll cover one by one. So we'll start off with the free to play uh, tech Android 13 unit. It's going to be for the leader skill, uh, tech strength and physical type, key plus three HP attack and defense increase of 60%. The passive skill here is uh, with a key meter eight or more, key plus four attack and defense increase of 80%. And then uh, if there is a Android category ally on the team, um, actually if there's three or more Android category allies on the team, attack and defense increase of a further 30%. So it looks like this guy's really meant to be on, you know, the Android setup. Now in terms of the super attack, uh, looks to be supreme damage and then uh, greatly reduce enemies defense. So as a free-to-play option, this is a pretty good improvement. Um, yeah, it, it substantially makes it better. Okay, so for the Intelligence Android 13 unit, looks like uh, tech types, uh, attack and defense down by 43%. The passive skill is going to be attack and defense increase of 50%. 50 and uh, let's see, convert tech type key into rainbow type key. And then for every rainbow key collected, plus two key. And then if there is one or more Android category ally on the team, attack and defense increase of 30, 13%. So for every Android category ally on the team, it's attack and defense increase of 13%. For the super attack, this is obviously level 14 or more, uh, supreme damage, and then massively decreases enemy's defense. So this is going to be pretty interesting as a unit because you do see a lot of uh, debuffs with that. All right, here's another one I'm pretty excited about, this uh, intelligence type meta cooler unit. So with the EZA, it's going to be all types, key plus three, HP attack and defense increases 70%. So pretty similar to the LR meta cooler army uh, leader skill. And then for the passive skill, it looks like attack and defense increase of 50%. And then for all allies, attack increase of 30%. And then... For extreme type allies, plus three key defense increase of 40%. So this is going to be a very nice passive support unit on a variety of teams, especially the extreme type setting. So this guy is actually going to be very good in support. The only drawback is you can't run the agility medical unit on the same team, unfortunately. So with the super attack, it's going to be supreme damage and then uh, massively lowers enemies' defense. So. You are seeing a lot of improvements in terms of the debuff mechanisms uh, with the massively lowering defense or whatnot, so you should be able to see some benefits in you know the tougher stages or battles. All right, here's the Evil Boo unit. Uh, looks like leader skill is going to be tech, intelligence, strength type, key plus three, HP attack and defense increase of 80%. The passive skill is going to be attack and defense increase of 90%. Uh, let's see, and then for all enemies, attack and defense 20% down. And then if there is a Majin Buu Saga category enemy, uh, let's see, it's going to be guaranteed additional super attack and a high chance to evade enemy attack. So against the Majin Buu Saga category enemies, this guy is, you know, possibly is going to be very good. Uh, in terms of the super attack, it's going to be supreme damage and then increases attack for six turns. All right, and then we have the uh, Nova Shenron unit, uh, tech type, key plus three, HP attack and defense increase of 100%. Uh, pa passive skill is going to be key plus three, attack and defense increase of 
And then for Shadow Dragon Saga uh, category allies, attack and defense increase to 30%. So pretty nice uh, supporting type unit for the um, uh, Shadow Dragon Saga category. Okay, and then the super attack is going to be supreme damage and increases attack over six turns. Here's another one I was really, really looking forward to. So this is the Super Saiyan Goku unit. Uh, with the EZA, it's going to be uh, a rainbow lead. All types, key plus three, HP, attack, and defense increase of 70%. Uh, for the passive skill, if HP is 50% or above, key plus two, attack, and defense increase of 80%. So finally, they gave him a percentage instead of a flat number. Uh, high chance to activate criticals. And then if HP is 49% or below, key plus three, attack and defense increase of 100%. And then super high chance to activate criticals. This is actually gonna be a really nice unit. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, super attack is going to be uh, supreme attack, uh, supreme damage, and then super high chance to uh, uh, stun the enemy. So this guy is actually going to be very, very good. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with the skill sets improvement they gave him. All right, and then the, finally, the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta unit. Leader skill is uh, agility, tech, and physical type key plus three, HP, attack, and defense, increase of 80%. And then for the passive skill, uh, attack and defense increase of 90%. And then for every attack received, defense increases by 15%, maximum of 60%. And then for the uh, super attack, it's going to be supreme damage. And then for six turns, attack and defense increase of 30%. So all these guys are getting a pretty substantial uh, upgrade. and the good thing about it is i'm glad they finally released the information because all these guys are exchangeable with the tanabata wish strips outside of the free-to-play tech android 13. now this one is available in the baba shop now you will have to grind at least one of them if you do plan on rainbowing the unit but every every one of these units uh do have some some added value on whatever teams or categories you decide to run on so um yeah they're actually pretty good and i'm i'm highly satisfied with the uh, overall stats improvement so pretty happy about that so wanted to get this out of the way first because that's honestly the most important and has the most information uh, in terms of the the new Dokkan event which is going to equate to a new Dokkan Fest Piccolo unit it is with the uh, Kami fused uh, so you can see the artwork here pretty uh, pretty pivotal moment in the uh, the manga and anime so It'll be very interesting what the super tax and, uh, you know, animation is for the uh, transformation because it will be probably a, a transforming unit. So it's going to be uh, pretty intense. Um, I say transforming. I don't, I'm not 100 percent, but, you know, with with the fuse with Kami, you would assume there's some sort of, you know, transformation mechanic going on. All right. So not much info there, but we should expect that. And look at this guy. This is a badass one right here. The LR first form cell This is going to be a prime battle LR. So it will be a free to play unit. You just have to grind the metals. And uh, this is the first form SSR version. So based on what I see, it's a leader skill for Android. Uh, actually, artificial life form category key plus two HP attack and defense of 50%. So expect this guy's final product at LR status to be the artificial life forms category lead. Um, so again, this is going to be a prime battle LR. You do have to go through the process of grinding what's the equivalent of 777 medals. But based on the artwork here, yeah, he looks like a very, very badass unit. I'm, I'm quite excited about this. And I've been wanting a first form uh, cell unit that's actually good in the game introduced for a long time. And I'm finally, I'm glad they finally did this. It took a, it took a damn while, but... Uh, based on what I'm seeing, it looks like it's going to be pretty good. Now, in terms of the overall skill sets, like the, um, uh, you know, passive skill and super tag abilities and, and links and all that, we don't really know what's up, but honestly, the artwork right there is good enough for me. And uh, the first form, you know, SSR version, I might actually make, a, you know, like a secondary copy just to, just to have it, you know what I mean? But yeah, this is definitely coming up, and and I will definitely be grinding that. So again, this is a prime battle LR. So <clears throat> keep in mind, uh, it's a no continue format. You can't you can't continue. Um, you can only bring in units that you can acquire in events or uh, quest mode and stuff like that. So you can't bring any uh, summonable units. But uh, with the with the amount of options we currently have in the game, uh, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be that bad. It's just a matter of you know how much time it takes the only problem i see with these prime battle lrs is, is basically the amount of grind that's that's required because you know you don't get uh drop rate bonuses until they have the uh, legendary campaign so unfortunately that's going to be the case 
All right, and then lastly, this is a new story event coming up. And uh, there is a free-to-play unit uh, introduced there. It's going to be the Vegeta unit. And the good thing about this one is uh, he's got his own potential orbs. So you don't, you don't have to worry about utilizing the type potential orbs to get this guy to 100%. So uh, this is the Vegeta unit free-to-play. It's a strength type. And in terms of the passive skill, it's basically at the start of turn, attack and defense increase of 60%. Outside of that, we really don't know much, but you know, this is coming up pretty soon as well. So things are definitely heating back up. And I see the uh, uh, server maintenance uh, notification is happening on July 29th uh, from 3.30 to 7, uh, 7 uh, JP time. So it'll be, you know, depending on where you live, it, it, it could potentially be on the uh, 28th. So it's, it's coming up pretty soon. But a lot of a lot of stuff coming up. This is definitely the good news. This one's pretty exciting. This one's very very exciting, and then this one's also a great option. So that's the uh, translations for now. Hopefully you found this helpful and know what to expect coming up in, in the next few days. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later. All right, peace out.